Have you ever wondered if there's more to the story of the 9-11 attacks than what we've been told? It's a question that's been gnawing at the edges of our collective consciousness for years now. We've accepted the official narrative, yet whispers of alternative explanations persist. These are not mere fabrications, but theories, hypotheses seeking to fill gaps in our understanding. They exist, myriad and varied. Today, we'll delve into one such theory that has intrigued millions around the globe. On the morning of September 11, 2001, the world watched in horror as the Twin Towers fell, a day that will forever be etched in our minds. The official account of the events that unfolded is as follows. It started as a regular Tuesday morning. Four commercial planes took off from various airports across the East Coast. Unbeknownst to the passengers and crew, these flights were not destined to reach their scheduled locations. According to the official narrative, 19 terrorists linked to the extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked these planes. Two of the planes, American Airlines Flight 11 and United Airlines Flight 175, departed from Boston's Logan Airport, bound for Los Angeles. The hijackers diverted these planes and flew them into the North and South Towers of the World Trade Center, respectively. The initial impact caused raging fires and significant structural damage. Less than two hours later, both towers collapsed, creating a shower of debris and a plume of smoke visible for miles. Thousands of lives were lost in a matter of moments. Simultaneously, another group of hijackers took control of American Airlines Flight 77, which had departed from Washington Dulles International Airport. They too, deviated from the original flight path directing the aircraft straight into the Pentagon, the heart of America's military command. The fourth plane, United Airlines Flight 93, took off from Newark International Airport, bound for San Francisco. However, passengers on board became aware of the other attacks and made a brave attempt to regain control of the aircraft. This resulted in the plane crashing into a field in Pennsylvania, averting a potential disaster at another high-profile target. This is the official sequence of events, a chilling account of a meticulously planned and ruthlessly executed act of terror. But as with any significant event in history, there are those who question the official narrative. This is the story we all know, but what if there's another side to it? Enter the controlled demolition theory, a theory that suggests the towers didn't collapse due to the plane's impact and the ensuing fires, but were brought down in a pre-planned demolition. This theory, controversial as it may be, is based on a few main points of argument. Firstly, proponents of this theory point to the speed and symmetry of the tower's collapse. They argue that the buildings fell too quickly and too evenly to have been caused by the impact of the planes and the subsequent fires. They suggest that the only explanation for such a swift and symmetrical collapse would be a controlled demolition. Secondly, they highlight the presence of molten steel at the site of the collapse. According to this theory, the fires caused by the plane's impact would not have been hot enough to melt steel, suggesting that there may have been other factors at play. Thirdly, there are the reports of explosions heard before the towers fell. Some witnesses claim to have heard loud booms, similar to those heard during a demolition before the towers came down. And then there's Building 7, a building that collapsed on the same day, despite not being directly hit by a plane. This event is often used as a supporting argument for the controlled demolition theory. So, could there be any truth to this theory, or is it all just speculation? The controlled demolition theory certainly raises some interesting points, doesn't it? To recap, proponents of this perspective argue that the World Trade Center buildings were brought down by a planned explosion not solely by the impact of the hijacked planes. They point to the speed of the tower's collapse, the presence of certain materials in the debris, and other anomalies that they claim challenge the accepted explanation. This theory certainly puts a spin on the tragic events of that September day, doesn't it? It questions the official narrative we've been told and asks us to consider whether we're getting the full picture. It's a reminder that often, truth can be elusive, and it's up to us to ask the difficult questions, to dig deeper, and to seek out multiple perspectives. Whether you believe in this theory or not, it certainly makes one thing clear. 
There are always more sides to a story than we initially see.